Hi, I'm OM4 VP or Oscar Radio 5 Alpha and uh, this is my second video on the ACOM uh, 600S solid state amplifier. As promised, as promised in my uh, first video, uh, I'd like to show you now uh, a bit more of the insight of this uh, little nice amplifier. Let me start uh, first uh, by showing you uh, the power supply unit, which is uh, in front, just behind uh, the front panel of the amplifier. The power supply um, gives you uh, several uh, secondary voltages. Uh, first of all, the uh, 52 volts, which is provided to the uh, final stages. And you also have 12 volts, uh, 5 volts uh, for controlling and the 24 volts for the uh, relays and the fans. Um, the uh, power supply is actually a kind of a tunnel. The tunnel, uh, which is a uh, the tunnel uh, actually sits uh, in front, uh, just behind the front panel and has uh, takes up uh, all amount of space uh, from left to right. Uh, on the left hand side there's an uh, 8 cm big uh, inside fan which pulls in uh, fresh air and blows it through the tunnel uh, to push out the heat on the uh, right hand side of the amplifier. Uh, just in front of the uh, power supply uh, is a board uh, which contains the uh, LCD screen and uh, you cannot see it from here but on the other side next to the screen uh, is a small board with the uh, processing unit uh, which runs the software uh, to control the amplifier. Uh, on the back of the power supply uh, is the second big chunk here uh, that's actually a big board with uh, the band filters uh, you can see maybe inside it, I'd like to show you if I can. Uh, this is actually uh, the inside of the board, uh, you can see the relays, uh, some of the coils and stuff like that. So, um, the, uh, also this uh, big aluminium casing uh, runs from uh, left to the uh, other end, uh, to the right hand side of the uh, uh, amplifier. Uh, on the back here uh, on the casing is also a very small uh, fan uh, and uh, it pulls out actually a little bit, bit of the heat um, that is uh, produced inside uh, of the uh, aluminium casing. Uh, then we come to the third part it's also a very large uh, uh, casing actually it's a uh, a very uh, large uh, uh, cooling cooling block. Um, this uh, I think weighs the most of the amplifier and takes up a few kilograms of it. Uh, on top of the uh, big uh, cooling block is uh, uh, the PCB board, which is mounted, uh, and uh, the uh, freescale. Uh, MOSFETs are uh, directly in contact with uh, the cooling block uh, to dissipate all the heat that is uh, produced uh, when operating uh, at 600 watts. Uh, you can see here on the back, uh, let me show that uh, from top of the, uh, the block here, uh, on the back here is uh, the big fan, it's uh, a 12 centimeter big uh, uh, ventilator uh, which uh, pulls off the heat and uh, in that way uh, the amplifier uh, can dissipate its heat uh, on the outside and the back of the, uh, of, uh, the casing. Uh, on this end here we uh, have a small board. Uh, that board uh, is uh, where the connectors comes out for the uh, CAT control, uh, RS232 serial port and uh, also the uh, key in and key out jacks. It's a small board. Uh, bear with me because I'm not a professional uh, video uh, analyst or video producer so uh, it's actually just uh, to show you and uh, get you familiar with this new amplifier uh, that I'm trying to uh, explain it to you uh, as, as it is uh, brand new and uh, one of the first shown on the internet. Uh, this is uh, the filter unit from this uh, big 12 centimeter uh, fan uh, that's uh, keeping uh, uh, dust out of uh, the inside of the amplifier. Uh, let me turn it around a bit more. So now we have a view on uh, 
the uh, back left hand side which has of course the uh, RF input and output uh, of the amplifier uh, here on the bottom you have uh, a switch uh, which will uh, power off the mains so there is no more voltage uh, at the uh, uh, power supply and uh, this of course is the cord which runs to the, the mains socket and here you have the ground rod to uh, connect the uh, safe to, to safely connect it to ground um, here you can see three holes uh, which give you uh, a balance and a forward and reflected uh, I think there are uh, small potential meters on a small board here on the end which I'll show in a moment and uh, it's uh, really uh, well marked I don't know if you can read it but it says caution calibration only by qualified personnel so it's something I will not touch right now okay let me swing it around to the other end Alright, uh, let's check now at this side. So now you can take a look at um, the board here, uh, which is uh, on the back of the amplifier. Uh, this board uh, contains a few coils, uh, actually in relays, and uh, it, the switching is done here uh, uh, from the standby to operate mode. So you can see that board right here. Uh, which uh, I know it's a little bit dark because I do not have really good spots uh, lighting up uh, the inside of uh, the amplifier. Uh, this is another side of uh, the cooling block, so uh, you can see it here. And uh, here you can see, I don't know if I can put light on it, but uh, no, it's too difficult. I apologize for that, but um, maybe I can try to do it like this. I'm not sure if I'm going to manage. No, it's kind of hard to see inside, but uh, I like to point out maybe with my pen here, uh, which now I'm pointing at is uh, one of the FETs here, just on top of the screen. One of the FETs which is mounted to the PCB and directly onto the uh, cooling block. Uh, that's one of the two new Freescale uh, 300 watt uh, final FETs. And then on this end here, you actually can see uh, the other end of the uh, power supply uh, with a raster here, uh, sort of a grill. Uh, and uh, the air is coming out this end. So actually it's taking in from the fan on the other side and on the uh, right hand side of the amplifier, uh, the hot air comes out. So as you can see, it's a kind of a new design and uh, it's very compact. I like to uh, take a little bit more of a distance to show it to you. Uh, it weighs 12 kilograms. Uh, it has the dimensions of a normal uh, transceiver like in uh, Kenwood or in ICOM. Uh, it's not like a very small portable transceiver, but like a normal uh, home transceiver. Uh, it's maybe one or two centimeters higher. It only weighs 12 kilos and that's great. I mean, it's uh, very portable for distant locations and taking on airplanes. So that's something uh, to look at if you are planning uh, to make some trips and have uh, 600 watts with you. Um, at this moment, I've been running it for almost 48 hours. Uh, it has uh, been doing a great job uh, during the All uh, Asian DX CW contest. And I can really uh, assure you guys uh, it's uh, running cool all the time. Uh, the fan does come on uh, rarely uh, on the back. Uh, only when uh, heavy duty cycle uh, is used, uh, you can hear the fan in first speed, but uh, that's uh, almost as quiet as a normal ACOM tube amplifier. So really uh, it is an outstanding design. And the small uh, eight centimeter fan, which is on the other side of the, the power supply unit, uh, does come on quite a bit. Uh, but runs very quiet and uh, actually when the uh, amplifier is in uh, standby mode uh, there is uh, no power on uh, the board here uh, so that means that uh, the uh, power supply does not have to work a lot and uh, in standby mode uh, all the fans go out uh, once you put it in operating mode uh, it will bias, uh, bias, vol put bias voltage of course uh, for the FETs 
and it will put the 52 volts uh, on the final stage so uh, uh, there's a little bit more going on in the side the power supply and therefore uh, a little bit of heat is dissipated and the fan will come on from time to time uh, around 30 degrees centigrade uh, but it's a very quiet fan and uh, well it's like having a modern uh, desktop PC just in front of you and you barely can hear it so uh, uh, it's very nice to have in the shack uh, close to you to monitor the, the nice display so uh, it's, a, it's a great design it's a great small and compact amplifier uh, with a nice uh, amount of power that it can put out okay uh, maybe just another last look on the front of the uh, amplifier here so that's uh, the nice finish with the, the nice touch of the front panel uh, like always with the nice ACOM logo uh, the uh, switch to put the amplifier on or off uh, meaning that you have the, the main switch on the back which puts uh, uh, mains on the power supply but with this uh, soft uh, start button you can uh, actually start up the amplifier or you can do it by remote when you use the 12 volt line uh, on the CAT connector and then of course uh, the 5 inch screen uh, which is here uh, of course now it's powered off but uh, it's the 5 inch screen with uh, on the low end side here you have the 6 buttons to uh, operate and uh, they refer to uh, one of the uh, uh, printed buttons on the screen depending on the mode or uh, screen you're in. So that's about it I think. Uh, you have seen my first video of course with uh, all the information about the menu structure and uh, the operating modes. Uh, now you get an idea of the inside of the amplifier. Uh, I've been told by ACOM that it's uh, one of the final productions, one of the first of the final production. They're still working on a small uh, software issues that they're trying to work out uh, now these days. And then uh, the uh, uh, big production will be released uh, uh, at the dealers uh, within a few weeks. You guys uh, who are very interested, you can also buy this uh, little amplifier. Uh, I think I got lucky, I got one of the first of 10 that are released to the public right now and uh, I think it was uh, my duty to uh, inform you guys and uh, let you know about this wonderful uh, new solid state 600 watt amplifier 1.8 to 40, 54 megahertz including 6 meters uh, full power output. Uh, thank you for watching this uh, second video about the ACOM 600S, uh, I'm Philip or Phil, uh, Oscar Radio 5 Alpha or Oscar November 4 Victor Papa. Thanks for watching this uh, small video and uh, take care for now, 73s.